Hey everyone, so today I wanted to show you a project which I'm really happy to report that this actually worked. And this consists of this vacuum chamber with a turbomolecular pump and some ordinary stick tape. So this whole experiment is just to unroll this ordinary stick tape in a high vacuum environment. And to reproduce this experiment I just made this part which is made of lead aluminum, this acrylic platform and this aluminum block which contains a ball bearing. And the whole idea this works is to mount the stick tape on this thing here which then rotates freely around this axle. And then this part here, which is just an axle coupler, is turned through this high vacuum feed-through. And originally I tried this crank, but this just didn't work because it was too slow. So then I switched to this cordless drill, which worked perfectly. So now we are looking down into the chamber, and as you can see the tape gets rolled up here on the top. But the more interesting part is the tape which gets unrolled, which can be seen through the glass window on the side of the chamber. The 4 vacuum pump I'm using is a Liebold D1.6B, which is the smallest two-stage rotary pump from this company. So even though the chamber is quite small, it takes some time for the pressure to get low enough for the turbo pump to work, which is below 0.5 millibar. The turbo is a Liebold Turbovac 50 I hooked up to the Stanfos VFD, which can output 1 kHz maximum, which is a bit too low as the turbo needs 1.2 kHz nominal frequency, but obviously this seems to work fine as the pressure gets well below 10 to the minus 3 millibar quite fast. So now that we have reached high vacuum, we can actually test if the stick tape is emitting x-rays with an ordinary Geiger counter. One thing worth mentioning here is that I tried this with two different tapes. One was the Scotch Crystal Clear tape, which worked fine as you saw, and the other one was a cheap one I had laying around, but this didn't work at all. In fact, it destroyed the high vacuum while being unrolled, and this is exactly what other guys discovered who tried this. I also want to try to make real X-ray photos, but I'm not sure if this will actually work as the energy and the intensity at least outside the chamber is quite low, but I might try this in the future, so stay tuned for a follow-up and other projects here or on Twitter. Thanks for watching.